Hi everyone, The Maths Man here, and in today's video we are going to be looking at fundamental algebra knowledge. If you want to be an algebra genius, then this is the video for you. Let's learn it, and let's learn it now. Now the first thing that we need to understand when first beginning to learn algebra is that letters can represent numbers, okay? So what does that exactly mean? Have a look at my example here. A plus 9 equals 12. So in this equation, we have A representing a mystery number, okay? And we can find, use the answer and the numbers that we have to work out that A is actually 3 and A in this equation was representing 3. Let's look at another example. 8 plus A equals 15. So A again is representing a mystery number. And if I take the answer and use the other numbers that I have, 15 take away 8, I can find out that A was representing 7. So you've kind of got to be a detective with algebra. Now, it's not just the letter A in algebra, it can be any letter. It can be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it can be all of the letters of the alphabet. Like, look at this example here, we have Y plus 5. Okay, so I know the answer is 10. I can take away 5, and I can find out that Y is representing number 5. In algebra, the second thing that we need to understand is that there isn't just one answer sometimes. Like, we're used to saying 5 plus 5 equals 10, there's only one answer. But in algebra, sometimes we can have 2, 3, 4, or maybe a million different answers. Like, look at this question here. A plus B equals 10. So that means that we have a mystery number, add a mystery number, makes 10. So how about if A was 6? If A was 6, B would have to be 4. But there's other ways you could do this. A might be 3. And if A was 3, then B would have to be 7, wouldn't it? In the comments below, let me know if you can find any more possible answers to this equation. Now, the third and final thing we need to understand when we are first being introduced to algebra is that if you have a number that is next to, very close to a letter, then it means to multiply. So can you see how this says 3a? So this means 3 multiply whatever a is. So if I know that a is 5, so let's say that a is 5, what I'm actually doing is 3 times 5. So 3a can be represented by, look, a, a, a. You can't see that very well because it's in red. But if I know a is 5, a is 5, a is 5, then I know 3a is 15. Have a look at this one, 5y. So 5y can be represented like this, y, 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 five times. Now if I find out that y is actually 3, then I can say, well, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and I can add all those up. But I know it's much quicker to go 5 multiplied by 3. So in that video there, we covered three basic introductory elements of algebra. If it did help you out, then smash that like button down below.